Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Magna and Sabic, and by Borg Warner, Bose, ETAS, and Gentex. Upstream is the company that does all kinds of cyber protection, and Shira Sarid Hausirer is with the company. And Shira, there's a whole lot more hacks going on in automotive these days. Tell us about the numbers, just the increase from 2021 to 2022. Sure, John. So just in the publicly uh, reported incidents, they're up from 245 to 268 from 2021 to 2022. Um, so we are seeing an increase. We have to keep in mind, this is only the ones that were publicly reported. So there are a lot more that we are not necessarily aware of. And these are successful hacks. They're not just attempts then. These are successful hacks. Some of them were blocked at some point by the OEMs, especially the ones that are white hat. So they were done for bounty. Uh, but just to give you a sense of black hat versus white hat, we're seeing 65% of incidents this year originated by black hat actors. And that's up from about 50-ish percent in 2021. So it's a big increase. And you're seeing a difference in, in the types of hacks, right? They used to go after like the whole vehicle and now you're saying they're coming Absolutely. in via different ways. Absolutely. They're finding easier, simpler and cheaper ways to get into vehicle controls. And APIs are the fastest and most fascinating attack vectors that we have seen this year. And just to give you a sense of it, we went up from 2% of attacks in 2021 to 12% of attacks that are publicly reported that were performed via API transactions. And that's a 380% increase from 2021 to 2022. So when you say they're coming in via APIs, give us an example of what you're talking about. Sure, so we had two very famous white hat hackers this year. One is David Colombo, earlier in 2022, he managed to hack a bunch of Teslas through the apps of Tesla. Uh, and to be able to lock and unlock and start the engine and do a bunch of different things that are available for the companion apps. But very recently, we had another fascinating white hat hacker called Sam Curry. Uh, again, a very young gentleman, and he set a goal for himself to figure out how to attack vehicles. And you're saying young, 23 years old, right? 20-something year old, yep. Yeah. Uh, enthusiastic, and again, keep in mind, he's a white hat, so he's doing it for research purposes, not for any criminal intentions. But he set up to go and figure out and find vulnerabilities, and he was able to find a significant vulnerability in one of the most used, uh, popular telematic services uh, and hack about a dozen of different OEMs. So now we're showing the massive scale that you can attack through APIs, so it's no longer just a specific model of a maker, now we're talking about a massive fleet that was impacted by this attack. And this was Sirius XM, right? Correct. So, you know, he figured out a way to go through Sirius XM. Now, any car that's got Sirius XM is vulnerable. Was impacted, right. Well, obviously, it was fixed right away, right? So he did that so they can improve the systems yeah. and they can patch the vulnerabilities right away. But yes, at that moment, all serious exam vehicles were impacted. But this is an example of what you're talking about. You're, you're right. not just going right for the vehicle, you're coming in sideways, so to speak. Right, so you need to think about that product cybersecurity or even vehicle cybersecurity is very different from traditional IT security. Now we're talking about servers that are moving. They have four wheels, they have a battery, they need to charge, and even ICE vehicles are so connected that they have all these different computers within the vehicle. So now there are other ways to go after the core functionalities of the vehicle that are not just complicated going after the CAN and the model architecture. There are easier, cheaper ways to impact vehicles. And in fact, uh, not just the vehicles, right? You say that uh, with the study that you've come out with on all this, EV charging stations are also becoming vulnerable. Correct, so our latest report that covers all incidents that were reported in 2022 show that 4% of all incidents last year were related to EV charging infrastructure. And that's not just stealing money or getting your uh, payment inf information from a specific charger. It's far more sophisticated. We're seeing more and more research talking about how these attacks can be uh, carried out. Uh, we saw one interesting example 
with the geopolitical situation in uh, Russia and the Ukraine, where the Ukraine's uh, hacked um, charges across the um, highway between Moscow and St. Petersburg and completely disabled them. Uh, so that's just one example. We're also seeing research starting to come out about attacks from the charging capability against the power grid. Okay, so creating fake demands and all sorts of other techniques to attack public infrastructure. But Ustream can help people fight this or help, especially in the automotive sense, automakers and suppliers fight this. Absolutely. Upstream has developed a unique purpose-built platform to detect and respond to incidents that are related to the automotive and smart mobility ecosystem. So unlike other IT solutions, we're talking about cars and how they impact the entire uh, ecosystem. Very good. Keep at it because we need that protection. Thanks, Thanks Shira. John. Happy to talk to you today. Through Blue Hero, SABIC is helping the industry create better, safer, more efficient electric vehicles. Learn more at sabic.com slash bluehero.